How many other teams will you work out for? No one else. Does that mean you you think you're going number one? I know I'm going number one. With the first pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Phoenix Suns select DeAndre Ayton. I don't know if you noticed, but the big man is coming back to relevance. We got guys like Embiid, Anthony Davis, Carl Anthony Towns leading the way. In the 2018 NBA Draft, five out of the top 10 picks were big guys. And you mean to tell me, out of all these bigs, Aiden was a clear-cut best big? E-Man and I couldn't wait to see him in person. Hit it, boys. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about. Wait! Okay, now. From the beginning. Before we went to Vegas, we stopped by Valley Tire Center in Woodland to get us right for the long road trip. And if you're planning on making the long road trip, then you too should stop by Valley Tire Center to make sure your car is ready to take on the long road. Everyone I could think of was in Vegas. I saw the Twitter gods, Shams and Woj bombs. NBA players were supporting their teammates. The fans were into it. This Las Vegas tournament continues to grow and it's a great stepping stone for cities like Sacramento who just hosted their first ever summer tournament. Even Adam Silver was impressed with the turnout and suggested expanding the tournament to more teams in the future. It makes sense. Having an outside free Little John concert and other activities and great weather is an incentive for NBA fans from all over the country to show up for a few days. For those of you who are new to this channel, Eman and I have been focusing on individual players like Bam out of Bayou. Harry Giles, Jonathan Isaac, and Marvin Bagley. The first time we heard about Aiden was when we met our friends at 10th year seniors. We instantly fell in love with his game and the potential of a Bahamas connect with Buddy Heald in Sacramento. We know how much of a gym rat Buddy is, so we assumed Aiden would have a similar work ethic. Fast forward to March Madness and Aiden disappointed in his final game against Buffalo. Although it wasn't all his fault, the biggest blame went to him because of how dominant he was during the season. Throughout the draft process, I became more skeptical of his defense and his jump shot not translating to the NBA game. But that's normal. There isn't a perfect prospect ever. He knows he has work to do. When I finally had a chance to watch him live in Vegas, all the good and bad I saw on tape became even more apparent. His strength is unreal. When you combine that with his athleticism, that alone will allow him to have a long, prosperous NBA career. Like many summer league games, big men, for the most part, take a tad longer to adjust. Aiden got better with every game and showed his ability to rebound and be a threat in the pick and roll. He was rewarded by making the All-NBA Summer League second team. Once he and Devin Booker start building that chemistry, it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. They say these two have the potential to be Shaq and Kobe 2.0. With all that said, I do wish Aiden would have performed better, but the reality of the situation is, it was far more important to watch him adjust to the NBA speed. The rest will come later. The NBA season is coming soon, Aiden has a big task ahead of him. Will Aiden bring the Suns organization back to relevance like the Nash Stoudemire glory days? Only time will tell, but he definitely has the talent to do it. <laughs>